Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're going to talk about the newest album from Matmos, The Consuming Flame, Open Exercises in Group Form. So this is the 12th studio album from the experimental electronic duo, who over the past few years in particular had been one of the more interesting electronic acts out there conceptually. They released Ultimate Care 2 in 2016, which was a record that was made up solely of sampled sounds from a washing machine, and on their last release, Plastic Anniversary, which was a celebration of the duo's existence for 20 years, was made up of sounds entirely created from plastic, which is pretty interesting. Now, on the Consuming Flame, however, there isn't actually a direct concept in mind. In fact, this actually sounds like a lot of different things uh, mashed up into this, like, experimental Franken-monster of an album. But what is interesting about this new album over here is that it is a collaboration with a lot of different musicians, um, 99 of them to be exact. Now, I'm not going to sit here and list off every single one, but some of the noteworthy collaborators on here, you have the experimental hip-hop duo Clipping, 90s alt-rockers Yola Tango, Mouse on Mars, and even 10 Tricks Point Never. And this album over here is separated into three tracks, each spanning about an hour long each. So yeah, it is a mammoth of an album over here that you're definitely going to have to set some time aside for. And as I noted before, this covers a lot of stylistic ground and genres over here in the worlds of like IDM noise, and even post-rock. And with this many collaborators coming together on a release over here, it is pretty impressive how it all ties together. Um, even though in some spots on the record, I wouldn't say it's like totally seamless. Like on the opening cut, for example, A Donut in the Sky, which does have a really amazing introduction. I love those like huge bass swells and all those really demented, strange, stretched out samples that like weave around the track in such an ominous way. I mean, I don't really even know what those are. And Clipping is featured on this track, so I'm guessing this portion was a contribution from them. I don't really entirely know. I mean, it does sound like something they would make, but there are just tons of layers of melty sounds layering over this beat here that does kind of transition into more of a glitchy passage. And you know, it's about maybe like 15 minutes into this track where things do kind of start to drag a little bit and trail off just a bit with what kind of sounds like, you know, just improvised noise. But still, even like 15 minutes into this cut, it is already already one of the more interesting uh, electronic releases that I've heard so far in 2020, in my opinion. Now, the second cut probably has the most fluid and natural progression throughout its runtime, I think, but it was the third track, Extraterrestrial Masters, that ended up being my favorite. The beginning of the track feels very driven by 10 Tricks Point Never, who's also featured on the cut, with all of those, like, pulsating sampled sounds that alternate back and forth that, you know, sound like some kind of sound collage of some sort, but it does remind me a lot of something that came off of like Replica. And this track actually has one of the more interesting transitions right around the uh, 11 minute mark. There's sort of like a minimal amount of vocals that are used throughout this release, but every time they show up, they're usually pretty strange. And I mean, on this cut, it is easily the strangest part, I think, where that guy comes in being like, where two rivers meet and how it just kind of like layers over itself in such a weird way. And I mean, we transition out of all those like odd, like vocal sample parts that are layered over each other into like this really spacey dub piece that has such a killer bass line and groove to it. And I mean, this track even transitions into what sounds like something like a southern rock piece in a way, which is <laughs> weird. I mean, you really just don't know what you're going to get on this whole album until you listen to it all the way through. And you know, I'm sure that this type of release is not going to be for everybody, obviously. I mean, even myself, it's not the type of album I'm going to throw on uh, all the time. However, that unpredictability factor and just like the interesting twists and turns that it takes does make it one of the more interesting albums I've heard so far this year. And you know, there are just tons of parts to this record that I could go over and list off in length and analyze but, you know, uh, I think that, you know, would be kind of boring to mention all of them. It would kind of spoil some of the fun if this does interest you. I would say approach this album with more of an open mind. It is definitely geared towards a more patient listener. And if you dug the records that Nicholas Jar dropped earlier this year, Sinizas, and even like Tell Us, or if you dug Arca's like hour-long single from earlier this year, Experimental Diva FM, I think you're really going to enjoy this album. It's kind of cool. I mean, you could either play it like one track at a time if you only have an hour or just sit through the whole thing 
thing. <laughs> but um, buckle up, because it is kind of a wild ride overall. And you know, with that being said, I'm feeling an 8.5 over here on the Consuming Flame. Now, so far there is no vinyl box set release of this. I imagine it would have to be a mammoth box set overall, but um, there is a triple CD release that Thrill Jockey had put up on their website. And it looks like it was out of stock last time I checked. So maybe hit up your local record store and see if they have any CD copies floating around. And if you did listen to this new Matmos record, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and share. And if you want more content from me, hit that subscribe button. Peace.